Recycling is literally the only way we are going to dig ourselves out of the mess that is our over-reliance on landfills. Most of us by now have adopted recycling habits to deal with plastics, glass, tin and paper. But did you know there is far more that you can recycle than that? 25 things you didn't know you could recycle. Running shoes. Don't ditch your old shoes in a landfill. There are plenty of charities that redistribute shoes for reuse. Collection points at shoe shops are most common, but a quick Google search will direct you to someone in your local area looking for used shoes. Carpets. Roll out the red carpet for carpet reuse efforts, putting a stop to carpets landing up in landfills. Carpet reclamation facilities recycle used carpets wherever possible. Also opt for carpet types that can be recycled when you next replace your carpet and try use carpet brands that support carpet recycling programs. Eyeglasses. Most optometrists have some kind of drop-off point or even a buyback option when it comes to your old eyewear. Before you ditch your last pair of bifocals, check with your eye doctor, GP or local library if they have a collection point for a charity that redistributes glasses. You might just change someone's entire outlook on life. Crayons. Crayons can never biodegrade, and their wax sludge melts and infects everything they come into contact with within a landfill. Instead of ditching them, why not melt them down and remold them into new crayons? You can even get creative and use fun ice trays or molds to make fun-shaped crayons. If you don't have kids anymore, then donate them to the Crayon Initiative that does the melting and redistributing for you. Old Paint Tins Australia has a great not-for-profit organization called Paint Back, and they have changed the game of paint tin waste forever. The quantity of unused paint tins thrown away in the land down under exceeds 7.3 million a year. So, it is a substantial cleanup to find a better way to dispose of them. Paint Back takes old tins of paint at collection points and treats and recycles them. Batteries Batteries are loaded with expensive metal materials, and their manufacturing can have a large carbon footprint. These metals can be recycled back into metals and reused millions of times. Lots of grocery and hardware stores have drop-off points. Many recycling companies accept batteries with your recyclable waste too. Search your local area to find out the rules for recycling batteries. Holiday lights Holiday lights don't last forever and when they flicker and fade, it feels awful dumping them. They are full of recyclable materials like metal, plastic, and even glass. In 2014, Home Depot in the USA launched a holiday light recycling program. Check in your area to see who is able to give your holiday lights a new sparkle before you turf them in the bin. Ink or toner cartridges Check in your area to see who will refill ink and toner cartridges. You might be pleased to see the substantial saving while you give back to the environment. Otherwise, you can find a local company like RecyclePlace.org or who exchange old ink cartridges for vouchers at a stationery store towards a new ink. Many technology retailers like Best Buy have ink cartridge drop-off bins and they take care of the recycling. Blister packs and contact lenses. If you're a contact wearer, you've probably experienced the burden of how to recycle your contact lenses and blister packs. Now, many manufacturers of eye lenses have come to the table with recycling options, and it won't cost you at all. Check in with your local suppliers to see who has a recycling program attached to their service and choose them. Prescription drugs. It's not advised to dispose of medication in dustbins or down toilets. This can be harmful to humans and wildlife. Many pharmacies allow you to return expired or excess prescription drugs to them to dispose of them properly. And in the case of the USA, Drug Enforcement Administration has national prescription drug take-back days a few times a year, where there are plenty of drop-off points. Clothing dryers and washing machines. This scenario probably won't happen to you often, but if you find yourself in the unfortunate situation of having a broken big box appliance, like a clothing dryer or washing machine, you probably never realized it is completely recyclable. It is made mostly of plastic and metal, both of which can be recycled easily. Many parts of the dryer can also be repurposed and are sought after components if you want to make a bit of money. Compact fluorescent light bulbs. These energy efficient wonders are not as wonderful in the afterlife. They contain mercury, which is highly dangerous to humans and animals. If they aren't disposed of properly, they can leak mercury into the ground. Avoid contaminating the environment and find out who locally is accepting compact fluorescent light bulbs and let them do it properly. Toothpaste tubes and toothbrushes. You might think it is impossible to recycle toothbrushes and toothpaste tubes. 
but leading tooth care brands are on a mission to make it happen. They separate the three components of a toothbrush, the nylon bristles, metal staple holding them on, and the plastic handle, and are then able to process and reuse them all. Wine Corks Did you know corks from wine bottles can be recycled? The plastic kind can be turned into something new, just like regular plastic products, while natural cork can be composted. If you aren't much of a composter, but you're a big wine drinker, then be sure to see who in your area is recycling cork. There are plenty of companies reclaiming cork and turning it into completely new cork products, from bags to shoes to flooring. Motor Oil Motor oil can be a pollutant to soil and ocean, if not disposed of correctly. Luckily, most reputable mechanics and garages who offer motor oil change services will actually recycle your old oil. That's right, they will store your oil and it will be processed for reuse. Cigarette Waste The ghastly cigarette butt can finally have a second life away from parks and beaches. TerraCycle will take your butts and separate them in plastic, paper and tobacco. Then they will compost paper and tobacco before melting down the plastic and shaping it into pellets for reuse. So, who knows, your last cigarette could be recycled to be your next ashtray. Coffee pods Coffee pods are a guilty pleasure that has long thought to create mountains of unnecessary waste. This bad reputation has inspired coffee pod manufacturers to rethink their initial design of disposable aluminium or plastic capsules into far more eco-friendly options. Now you will find coffee pods that are compostable with no more plastic or aluminium elements. Then, instead of mixed materials like plastic and aluminium pods, there are purely aluminium versions now available. These make the pod 100% recyclable, as aluminium has a near-endless lifespan. Recycling aluminium also uses 20% less energy than producing new aluminium from ore, making aluminium cans and pods very valuable, which increases their chances of being recycled. Sports Equipment Do a quick Google search and you will find tons of charities looking for sports equipment. There are plenty of organizations who will even buy your old sporting equipment towards their sports outreach projects. If you're really unable to find anyone, your local charity shop will be more than happy to accept your sports equipment, as there is a huge market for second-hand sports gear. The showmakers, Sanuk, takes old yoga mats and recycles them into new flip-flops. There really is no reason to throw anything on the rubbish pile. Shaving razors Razors consist of two components, plastic and metal, both perfectly recyclable. So don't forget to add them to your everyday recycling. In some cases, you might need to remove the head of the razor and dispose of this elsewhere, but the plastic handle should always go in with your regular plastic recycling. Tights and stockings Nylon stockings take 30 to 40 years to decompose. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, no nonsense, who make stockings, have found a way to recycle your nylon pantyhose. They collect stockings and recycle them into many products, including car benches, car insulation, playground equipment, and even running tracks. Old Towels and Blankets Check in with your local animal shelter before you toss any towels or blankets. They are often in need of linen to provide cozy beds for cats and dogs. Alternatively, cut them up and use them as cleaning cloths and rags. Like we mentioned before, it's better to reduce your need to buy new and bring new waste into the world and rather use something old instead. Commercial Cooking Oil Commercial kitchens have a problem on their hands when it comes to disposing of used cooking oil. There are plenty of places researching new ways of using cooking oil, from turning it into biodiesel to finding ways to use biochemical disposal. Take a look at who is doing research in your area and link them up with your used oil to test on. Old bras No longer do you need to burn the bra in protest. Now you can donate your used bras to charities that assist women in disadvantaged communities with items of this nature. Bicycles In the United States, one million bicycles are sent to landfills. This is a complete waste of recyclable resources like metals and plastics. But on the other hand, most of these bikes can be refurbished and donated to lower-income people across the globe. Organizations like Bikes of the World will make sure bikes get to someone in need who can enhance their life and employability with transport. What innovative ways do you go about recycling items? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Diapers The disposable diapers you use today will still be around 450 years from now. In the US alone, 
24 million diapers are disposed of annually. That is a mountain of waste. A Canadian company has developed a method to recycle diapers. Stripping apart the valuable recyclable material, including plastic and fiber, they have developed a method of creating plastic products like roof tiles and even paper from the absorbent fiber.